Hi everybody in my TSTO Harry Potter group and YouTube channel. Okay, time for part three of protecting the stone. So if you've been following along, we've been doing these uh, little challenges to see if we can uh, protect the stone and see if we can keep people out in these obstacles. So we're on to the next one. It says one challenge remains. So we have to go see a Hagrid and see what he has in store for us on the third floor of Hogwarts. What does it have to do with the third floor? And then when we finish these all the four parts, we unlock a tappable fluffy. I think that's a name, three three headed dog, if I'm not mistaken. I've only started watching the Harry Potter movies the first time ever this year. And I found them fascinating. Okay, let's see if we can get them here. Meet with Hagrid. Okay. Barnaby, what are you doing here? Grogu, what a surprise. I'm helping Hagrid train this albino bloodhound to play nice with other dogs. Fang should make for a perfect companion, but the bloodhound seems a bit skittish. Pearl shy. I've been encouraging, but it isn't enough. I'm supposed to meet with Hagrid about something important, but he doesn't seem to be here yet. While I wait, I can help you get the bloodhound to play. I was afraid I didn't click on the right thing. I've done that before where I clicked on the wrong thing. That had nothing to do with the TLS queue. You only got one take with these videos. So. It's funny seeing some of these after what, finally watching the movies. I think my favorite scene from the movie was when they went back in time to try to stop everything from happening. And they're watching themselves. Here we go. Perhaps if we offer her a treat, she'll come out of her shell. That would work on me. Let's give it a try. Pearl, if you play with Fang, I'll give you a treat. Barnaby looks so different grown up. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? It worked! Brilliant idea, Grogu. Pearl will be ready for duty in no time. Here we go. Impressive teamwork, you two. We have a lot of experience from our Hogwarts days. It's a shame you can't both go on the errand I have for you. What errand? I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, Barnaby. I'm here on official business, too, and it's kind of a secret. Secret business that you can't tell me about? Well, now you have to tell me. I don't know. The professor was quite clear. What do you think, Grogu? Can Barnaby be trusted? Mm. I'm going to say he can be trusted. You can trust Barnaby, Hagrid. He always looks out for everyone's best intentions. Thanks, Grogu. That made my heart happy. All right, all right. But you have to swear you won't say anything to anyone. I don't like to swear, but I will for you, Hagrid. Here goes. Barnaby, he meant swear an oath, not a curse word. Oh, that's much better. I swear I won't tell anyone. Your task is simple. All you have to do is return a flute I board from Hogwarts. Where are we taking it? A corridor on the third floor. Whatever you do, don't let anyone see you. That's not much information. Is there anything else you can tell us? I'm not sure you have noticed, but I have a bit of a problem saying too much. Or if there's something you'd like to know, I'll answer one question you think might help. Mm. Why can't anyone see us, Hagrid? 
Well, when I, when I borrowed the flute, I sort of didn't tell anyone. You lifted a flute from Hogwarts? I prefer to call it an unobserved acquisition. All right, we're off to Hogwarts. Good luck and be careful. Don't worry about Pearl. I've got plenty of treats for her. Thanks, Hagrid. We'll be back after we return the flute. Okay. Hmm. This is kind of different. Sneak through Hogwarts. <laughs> okay, so we got to click on here. All right, Burnaby, there should be an entrance to the third floor corridor at the end of this hall. We'll have this flute returned in no time, and so far no one has spotted us. That's great, I think. To be honest, I'm not sure what to think. I'm quite confused. Well, more confused than usual. What's confusing you? I don't understand why Hogwart has a, Hagrid has a flute, or why we're returning it, if he's the one who took it in the first place. But there's something more important I'm confused about. What are you doing here at Hogwarts? I'm sorry, Barnaby. I can't tell you more than you already know. But you told Hagrid I could be trusted. That's true, but if I tell you, I could put a lot of people in jeopardy, including Professor Dumbledore. <sighs> oh no, Mrs. Norris! That means Filch can't be far behind. Let's figure out a way to this hallway quick. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have taken him with us. Probably would have been an easier task. Oh, well. What's done is done. We'll figure it out as we always do. Barnaby, this door, closed door, it's our only chance. It's locked. I'll use Alomora. <laughs> there we go. Alomora. It worked. I heard the door unlock. Quickly, let's get inside. Nothing here, Mrs. Norris. Come along. Hmm. Is this where we meet Fluffy? We made it. The third floor. I didn't hear Felts behind us. We must have gotten rid of him. You, we sh real, shouldn't have taken any chances, though. Let's hurry and put the flute Hagrid borrowed back where it belongs. This seems like a strange place for a flute. Not that I can really tell. It's so dark in here. I can fix that. Yeah. Here we go. Lumos. And here we go. Time for some fluffy. Holy Mac. Uh... Okie dokie. A three-headed dog? Careful, Gogo. We've accidentally provoked it. Extremely dangerous. We'll have to defend ourselves. Does it please tell me I don't have to duel it? Expel or I miss? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. You somehow made it angrier. Hurry, let's figure out how to stop this dog from attacking us. Oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Honestly, I... I really like this. This is a lot of fun. 
Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm going to need some more energy here. I'm running out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost there. Shouldn't be much longer. And more. And there, and there. At least I knew it was coming. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, freaky Fluffy. I call him Fluffy. I think that's what his name is. I don't know. Barnaby, Hagrid sent us to this location on purpose with the flute. Perhaps that's a clue. I suppose we could throw the flute at the dog. Uh, maybe we just play it instead. Perhaps it's vulnerable to music. That's much better than throwing it. Play the flute. Oh, crud. Uh, uh, oh no, it's broken. What are you going to do now? I'll try singing to it. Good thinking. Sing away. All right, here goes nothing. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, scary doggy. <laughs> I love singing. I'm actually a singer, so. Grogu, you beautiful, you're beautiful. Singing made it fall asleep. Your idea saved our lives. <sighs> that was a close one. I don't know you want to tell me why you're here, but now I don't even want to know. We should get out of here before it wakes up. Even though it's broken, I guess we technically did return the flute. Let's go back to Hagrid and break the news that we broke his flute. Yeah, he won't care. Oh, this is so much fun. I like this. And I got the thing, so I'm happy. <laughs> Grogu, baby, you're still alive. It's a bit concerning that you're surprised by that. Well, not many people encounter Fluffy and live to tell about the tale. I knew it was Fluffy. I remembered it right. Huh. I don't usually remember stuff. F Fluffy? But I suppose you're being alive and all means you succeeded in your task. Barely. Thanks to your clue, with the flute I was able to sing the three-headed dog, or Fluffy, to sleep. Good thinking. You told me Barnaby could be trusted. We technically did what you asked by returning the flute to the third floor, but I'm sorry, Hagrid. In the chaos, we broke the flute. Oh, that flute was not special. Hogwarts has plenty. I need to see how you'd fare against a ferocious three-headed dog. How clever. We certainly thought the most vicious creature we'd encounter was Mrs. Norris. It was important to keep you on your toes knowing the importance of the task. Besides, I saw you and Barnaby help that bloodhound. You both have a way with creatures. I'll admit it didn't go exactly as planned, but maybe I should tell you about that. Hagrid, please, you, can, you can't you can nearly kill us, then leave out the details. All right, let me explain what happened, but please keep this between us. <laughs> That's funny how I can remember stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to go into here and just add a little bit of energy, so I don't have to keep doing that. There we go. Just enough to keep me going. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun, though. I really, this is one of my favorites. I really enjoyed this one. I think it's a lot of fun. I love these little adventures. Okay, here we go. So you were originally going to send us that, to that creature without any hints? That's right, but I was worried it would be too dangerous. So I agreed to let Barnaby go along and give you the flute as a clue. 
I'm glad you were able to figure it out, though it's not quite what Dumbledore wanted me to do. Perhaps the fear of being eaten by a massive three-headed dog will be enough to stop an intruder. If not, we'd better keep Fluffy's weakness for music under wraps. I'll go back to and retrieve what's left of the flute so no one knows what we're up to. Thanks for your help, Grogu. Mine was the last of the obstacles. You're welcome. I better report back to Professor Dumbledore. Okay, so part three is done. Well, this was a lot of fun. I really like this. And hopefully some people will watch these videos. You get to hear me sing. <laughs> like I said, I do this for a living. That's a lot of fun. Okay, so that's the end of part three. Part four is coming up very soon. I will be releasing all the parts at once and putting up a, kind of like a little heads up to let everybody know that the videos are coming up. Okay, so thanks for watching the video of Protecting the Stone Part 3. And feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery content. And until next time, happy tapping because this is the way.